This weekend, we're in Mammoth Lakes, California. My name is Nick Imp, and I'm gonna be taking you through my weekend spent in Mammoth Lakes. I'm gonna be showing you all the musty spots, cool hikes, so let's get right into it. I arrived in the afternoon and I started my weekend with a hike out to Crystal Lake. This hike is about three miles round trip. The trailhead starts at a Lake George area and the, the trail goes at a steady incline. It's rated moderate because of the elevation gain which is about 873 feet. About midway through the hike you get views of Lake Mary and Lake George looking out. After that you keep going up the trail into the forest and then you arrive at Crystal Lake. I could not believe this hike with only 1.5 miles to get to this crazy alpine lake. Crystal Lake was beautiful. There was mountain scenery all behind it. The lake you could see through. There were spots all over the place that you can sit down, eat a snack, drink some water. This is one of the most traffic trails in the area. I highly recommend getting there early. There's not a ton of parking, so if you want to find a parking spot right by the trailhead, come early. After all I was done hiking, I wanted to catch sunset and I knew the best spot to go, Minaret Vista. The way to get there is you go up Minaret Road, past Mammoth Mountain Ski Resort, and you arrive at a parking lot. Just a couple of feet away from the parking lot, you get these crazy views of the mountains. The views you get are of Mount Ritter, Minarets, Mount Banter. You're even able to look down at Devil's Pospal National Monument. So the next morning, I went to Wild Willie's Hot Spring. I got up super early for sunrise to beat the crowds. This hot spring is off Benton Crossing Road. You gotta turn, you gotta turn right on a dirt road it's about a mile and a half. My passenger car made it, so most cars are able to do it, but I would check road conditions before you go because if it snowed, it rained, it could turn that dirt road into mud, and that wouldn't be good for any cars but low clearance. After you're done driving down that 1.5 mile road, you'll reach a parking lot. There's an outhouse right there, and the trail to the hot springs is right, right next to the parking lot. The trail is 0.25 miles to get there. It's on a wooden paved path, so it's fairly easy to get there. I went on a frosty morning in June, so it felt amazing to get in there. My clothes were frosted when I was got out of the water. The reason I got up for sunrise is because this place gets crowded. It's the most popular hot spring out of the five in the area. The higher the chances of you getting a hot spring to yourself, I highly recommend going at sunrise. And plus, you get to watch these bad boys right here light up and glow. After sunrise, I drove back in the Mammoth Lakes area to a trailhead called Duck Pass Trailhead. It takes you to a lake called Duck Lake. And wow, let me tell you, it was awesome. The trail to get there is about 7.5 miles round trip. So give or take 3.8 just to get to the lake. And it's also about 2,000 feet of elevation gain. Although the elevation gain is 2,000 feet, I wouldn't say that it was straight up the whole time. It was a steady incline, which made it really nice. The awesome thing about this trail is you see three lakes before you even get to Duck Lake. The first lake you get to is Emerald Lake. It's the smallest out of the three before Duck Lake. Although it's small, you have cool views of the mounds right behind it. And after that, you'll keep hiking in the forest. You'll get to a sign that says Duck Pass. You're gonna wanna go right down that. And shortly after that, you're gonna get to Skeleton Lake. So you know, the trail doesn't go right next to it. You have to go on the little dirt paths to the lake. After Skeleton Lake, you'll hike about a mile to the next lake, which is called Barney Lake. This one was one of my favorites. You had mountain vistas everywhere. They were grand. And you know what? The Alpine lakes were almost teal blue like Big Pine. I stopped here for a snack break just to enjoy the views. After my snack break was done, I started hiking up Ducks Pass. It's a series of switchbacks that go up and over the pass. The incline was gradual, but the views got 10, times better. You're able to get views of all the lakes that you just hiked past already. You're looking out towards all the mountains. You see Mammoth Mountain. Once you get to the top of Ducks Pass, then you get the view that you've been waiting for, Duck Lake. This lake is huge for an alpine lake. I've never seen an alpine lake this big before in my life. The trail is above the lake. So there's a trail that can get you down towards the shore if you want to. I stayed up top just because I was enjoying the Grand Vista views. After Duck Lake, I had hiked back down. I was so beat, so I just ended up catching the sunset at my campsite. But it was a pretty good one. Sunday morning, I woke up for sunrise to go to Hawk Creek Geological Site. The road to get there is a little bit bumpy, but my passenger car again made it down the road. Just go slow if you have low clearance. Hawk Creek is a ge geothermal area, so it's scalding hot. 
please do not get in the water. People have died here and gotten injured, so just look from afar, don't touch the water. The main lookout that you wanna to get to is Breeze Overlook, and this view gives you the winding creek leading up to the Eastern Sierras, and let me tell you, at sunrise, you're able to see that mountain get all glowed up. It was nice. After Breeze Lookout, then you can go down to the trail and you get a close-up look of the Hot Creek. Now I'm off for a long ride home. I hope I was able to help guide you through Mammoth Lakes area and show you the most epic spots around. And thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I just want to thank you for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button for more national parks, hiking, all this good adventure. And if you like this video, smash that like button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.